In this lecture, we'll take a look at the introduction to Cloud Natural Language API. So what is Cloud Natural Language API? So the Natural Language API provides a set of features for analyzing unstructured text. The Cloud Natural Language API provides natural language understanding technologies to developers that includes sentiment analysis, entity analysis, enti entity sentiment analysis, content classification, and syntax analysis. And the API is part of the larger cloud machine learning API family. So what are some of the features of cloud natural language API? So the natural language API has several methods for performing analysis and annotation on your text. Each level of analysis provides valuable information for language understanding. So these methods are sentiment analysis inspects the given text and identifies the prevailing emotional opinion within the text, especially to determine a writer's attitude as positive, negative or neutral. Sentiment analysis is performed through the analyze sentiment method. Entity analysis inspects the given text for known entities, say proper nouns such as public figures, landmarks, and so on, common nouns such as restaurants, stadiums, and so on, and returns information about those entities. Entity analysis is performed with the analyze entities method. Of course, all these methods are if you're using it programmatically. Entity sentiment analysis inspects the given text for known entities, that is proper nouns and common nouns, returns information about those entities, and identifies the prevailing emotional opinion of the entity within the text, especially to determine a writer's attitude towards the entity as positive, negative, or neutral. Entity analysis is performed with the analyze entity sentiment method. Syntactic analysis extracts linguistic information, breaks up the given te text into a series of sentences and tokens, generally word boundaries, providing further analysis on these tokens. Syntactic analysis is performed with the analyze syntax method. And finally, content classification analyzes text content and returns a content category for each for the content. Content classification is performed using the classify text method. Each API call also detects and returns the language if a language is not specified by the caller in the initial request. Additionally, if you wish to perform several natural language operations on given text using only one API call, the there is a method called annotate text. That method can also be used to perform senti sentiment analysis and entity analysis. So let's take a look at the free tier limits. So your usage of the natural language is calculated in terms of units where each document sent to the API for analysis is at least one unit. Documents that have more than 1000 Unicode characters that includes white, white space and markup characters such as HTML or XML tags are considered to be multiple units. That is one unit per 1000 characters. For example, if you send three requests to the natural language that contains 850, 1500 and 600 characters respectively, you're charged for four units. So one unit for 800, the first request that is 800, two for the second request that is the 1,500 characters and one for the third request at 600. And prices for use of the natural language are computed monthly based on which features of the API used and how many units are evaluated using those features. And the first 5K units are free and the rest are as per the table. So this gives you the pricing details in terms of how much it's going to cost you. So what are the topics that we are going to cover in the demo? So we will see one use case of Cloud Natural Language API. We'll use the Cloud Console to send a text to the API and analyze the results. So that was a quick overview of Cloud Natural Language API. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.